Once I came home to visit my father. We had an argument. When I was traveling back to the university, suddenly a storm broke out. The situation has become chaotic and horrible. So many thoughts were running through my mind. I thought God was punishing me for my sins. Oh God, please save me. If you save me, I will devote my life to you. I will serve you till my last breath. Exactly nine days later, I stood in front of St. Augustine Monastery. Leading a life in the monastery is not an easy task. I always wanted God to be with me. I wanted my sins to be forgiven. Hurting me, hurting me, sleeping on the floor and spending more time in prayers. I thought by hurting me, I would find God and peace. But I could not find peace. My sins haunted me more and more. I thought visiting Rome would solve all of my questions. Indulgence for sale, indulgence for sale. Your sins will be forgiven. Indulgence for sale. Indulgence for sale. For this sin, put ten coins. For this sin, put ten coins. Indulgence for sale. As the coin in the coffer spring, the soul of the purgatory springs. But I returned with disappointment. After I returned, I got an opportunity to teach the Bible to the students of Wittenberg University. Until then, there was no opportunity to read Bible for an ordinary man. Only the Pope and the High Priest used to explain. That was my first time that I read the Bible. God started revealing things to me. Righteousness, O Lord, deliver me. O the righteousness of God delivers, but not destroys. In Romans chapter 1, verse 17, the righteous shall live by faith. By faith we receive gifts from God. Is it enough if we have only faith? Why didn't anyone tell me this? Everyone needs to know this. As I read the Bible more and more, I noticed that some of the teachings and practices were not according to the word of God. So, I wrote the 95 Thesis and nailed it to the church door. Nailed them to the church door. Martin Luther nailed his 95 Thesis on church door on October 31st because he knew many people would see them the next day for a special celebration, All Saints Day. Indulgence for sale, indulgence for sale. Don't look at them, they are all lies. Indulgence for sale. Don't look at them, they are all lies. Please don't buy them. They are not true. They are not the word of God. How dare you speak against the Pope? How dare you speak against God? This is not the end. Only God's word is correct.